Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios hi this is mia mohsen zia also known as mia no time for love check out my latest book missing available in print and ebook format on amazon it's now time for the mike wagner show powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs the mike wagner show can be heard on spreaker spotify iHeartRadio, youtube itunes anchor fm radio public and the mike wagner show.com mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe so sit back relax and enjoy another great episode of the mike wagner show Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia molson If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia molson available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia molson has garnered great reviews and Eve 11 endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia molson available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple Music. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And we're heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himlay, and the YouTube channel. More. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also cool merchandise like t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throw pillows, and more along with phone cases. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, themikewidenershow.com. And don't forget to uh, buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Widener Show. And make sure you do so today. We can all use a cup. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's a war winning Christian country, Christian country artist from South Dakota. He's played for 25 years and a member of the 2015 South Dakota Country Music Hall of Fame, along with his dad, who is an alum of the Hall of Fame. He formed family tradition back in 06, and his father played with uh, Waylon Jennings and Charlie Pride, and was also part of the Harold White Show. And of course, um, as for this wonderful gentleman, he played with such legends like with Jim Ed Brown, Jet Williams, Helen Cornelius, Little David Watkins, Sherwin Linton, and more. And he's also got some uh, brand new music out. We'll be talking about his new release, You're My Everything, featuring Tell Me Baby and a lot more. Also, I learned so much from you. Turn to me. You've got to have faith and a lot of singles. And um, he's been winning awards and he's been ranked on the uh, gospel country charts. Live, ladies and gentlemen, for the Plus Studio, somewhere in beautiful South Dakota, somewhere in the Badlands, the multi-talented, award-winning Christian country artist from South Dakota, Leland Harding III. Leland, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Mike. Mike, it's, uh, it's good to be here. Well, it's great to have you on board as well, too. And you've got an amazing profile. You're an award-winning Christian country artist from South Dakota. You played for 25 years, and you're a member of the South Dakota Country Music Hall of Fame. Your father is also an alum. You also formed family tradition back in 06, and your dad played with Waylon Jennings and Charlie Pride, and also part of the Held White Show. And you also played with uh, Jim Ed Brown, Jet Williams, Helen Cornelius, Little David Watkins, Sherwin Linton, and more. And you also have... Um, 
a brand new album all called You Are My Everything featuring Tell Me Baby and more. It's all on Spotify. Also, I learned so much from you. And you also have some other releases like Turn to Me, You've Got to Have Faith, and more in a lot of singles. And before getting to all that, Leland, tell us how you first got started. Wow. That, uh, that, you know, I first got started, I would say, you know, I, I've been playing for 25 years, and I, I really say I've been playing for 30. When I was first, I come from Watertown, South Dakota. I was born there. And I, uh, first, my neighbor used to take me around to sing Elvis songs. Oh, wow. And, uh, and my neighbor said, he gave me a dollar for, for a song I sang. And I thought that was great. And he said, how about another song? And I said, how about another dollar? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really how I got my start, you know, doing it. And uh, people kind of like listening to it, and I kind of like playing it. So, you know, with my mom and dad already having a band at the time, it, it's just kind of that, you know, ingrained in the blood, I guess. Huh. And, and that's all for, um, you know, just uh, making money off of uh, singing Elvis. I'm sure he would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would have. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And um, what was that one precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing for the rest of the career, besides singing Elvis songs for a dollar? Uh, I, I would say... It's actually when I moved here in 2013. I'm in Will Lake, South Dakota. That's about 17 miles to the north of Desmet, South Dakota, where Little House on the Prairie is. Oh wow! Okay. So I moved here, and 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 I really started getting into the Christian, you know, Christian side of things, and and just from that moment, just the thrill I get from singing and praising the Lord, and it, it just witnessing, you know, what He's done in my life. mm Hmm. Okay. So it's yeah, it's it, it's a calling, you know. People who are in this in, in the ministry understand that when I say that. Mm-hmm. And a, and of course, y'all be in the ministry as well too. And um, you can tell us about the moment that actually did change your life. Well, I've always I've always been Christian, you mm-hmm. know. But 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 at that moment, it really hit me. It really hit me what, what, what importance life is. Uh, when I turned 40 up here, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Oh my. And, and so, and so every little thing you appreciate that much more in life. Mm-hmm. And, and I think being a Christian, I knew where my faith was. I knew where I was going to go. And, and to me, you know, to live in crisis gain, to die in crisis gain, mm-hmm. it's still just the simple and simpleness of picking your kids up after school. And seeing the beauty that they are. Mm-hmm. So that reaffirmed my faith. And, and yeah, everything everything kind of connects from that. Mm-hmm. And, of course, it is a joy to just, you know, pick up your kids from school, you know, going from kindergarten up to, like, eighth grade or whenever they decide to go driving. I know how it goes, just like many of us dads, and um, just appreciate everything, which is great. And um, also, who are some of your favorite uh, singers, starters, and um, artists and songwriters growing up? Well, growing up, wow, it, I actually played rock and roll until I was uh, 23 years old. Mm-hmm. So come, come from a country family, they were like, ah, what is all this stuff? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I was a typical teenager. I'd listen to Nirvana. Mm-hmm. But uh, on the other side, I listened to George Strait, too, mm-hmm. and Merle Haggard and Conway Twitty, you know, Waylon Jennings. Uh, so. It's just a you know accumulation of all these different artists put together, you mm-hmm. know. So I would say there wasn't one person; there was a culmination of all these great artists. Wow, that is something! And of course, it's good to have um, an eclectic mix as well, too. And you also, um, you know, put that in your music as well, too. And of course, you have had experience with um, playing Jim Ed Brown, Jet Williams, Helen Cornelius. You also got your um, music and more. We'll talk about that. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Show dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios dot com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at Sonic Web Studios. 
Studios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve Levin enjoys by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manalis. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great merchandise, books, and more. Also, don't forget to support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, themikewidenershow.com. And also, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Show. Make sure you do so today. We're with a terrific war-winning Christian country artist from South Dakota, Leland Haring III here on the Mike Wagner Show. Before we talk about some of your music, like with You Are My Everything, I Learned So Much From You, Turn To Me And More, your dad played in the uh, with, with um, you know quite a number of artists like Waylon Jennings, Charlie Pride, and being in the Hall of Fame, and maybe just tell us about your father as well, too. What was it like for your dad playing with Waylon Jennings and uh, Charlie Pride? It had to be amazing. Well, I, th- I think it, you know, and a lot of that was there used to be a, and you would probably know, uh, a disc jockey thing in Nashville, mm-hmm. Tennessee. And so he he would back them up when they came down for those those shows. So they were kind of the backup bands for all the huge artists. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, I remember my dad said, for for some of you that are around this Midwestern region, you would know Sherwin Linton. Mm-hmm. And that's the first time my dad met Sherwin Linton. But my dad was actually from Tampa, Florida. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. I was going to say that's interesting. How, how do you, how do you uh, make the trip from uh, Tampa over to South Dakota, and what got him into South Dakota? <laughs> so this is very interesting. He, mm-hmm. uh, he, of course, they had. I can't even think of the booking agent they had at the time. But they came up here, and there was something on their contract. They were in Aberdeen, South Dakota. It said they needed so many women in the band. You know, huh. for back, background singers and whatnot. Well, they didn't have one because their, <laughs> their other singers got held up. So, therefore, that's where my mom came in because she was a recording artist from Nashville, Nashville, who had happened to be living in Wabe, South Dakota. So, I guess you could say the rest is history. <laughs> wow of all places going from tampa to south dakota must have been a big change for him also a good one too your dad ended up in the uh south dakota hall of fame which is amazing congrats yes yes he is that was that was an amazing time amazing mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. and also too you also uh follow in his footsteps he played with um and, and you backed up uh, Jim Ed Brown, Jed Williams, Helen Cornelius, and of course we talked about Sherman Linton plus Lil David Watkins. And um, tell us what's it like, um, you know, playing for those. And um, who would you say your favorite was? You, you know, it was it was so surreal to play for Jim Ed Brown. You know, p- to play behind him and open for him. I, mm-hmm. you, you know, now now he's gone on to heaven. But I'll tell you what, what a down to earth person. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, they're too big for the britches, you know. But uh, him and, and Helen, and they were, I, I didn't know how big they were until I listened to some of their stuff from the 70s. Mm-hmm. You know, they they had quite a duo. You know, they were the Brooks and Dunn of their time. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Jet Williams, which a lot of people don't know, that is actually Hank Williams' daughter. Really? Jet Williams is Hank Williams' daughter? Oh, my goodness. I'm learning a lot from you today, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that went through the, you know, through the things. They finally got her DNA and everything. And, you know, she she's good, good, uh, you know, they're, they're good with uh, Hank Williams Jr., you know. But, uh, boy, she was a, a joy to be with, too. Really a joy. Oh, my so God. So I would, I would say the best person that I did play with would be little David Wilkins, which is uh, he's he's had he has, he's had quite a career. He uh, he he did songs for uh, 
what Conway Twitty did one of his songs called Georgia Pulling on My Ring. Mm-hmm. So uh, he, just interesting stories that you get from those people. He, had, he, you know, he was on. He was, a, I think, I believe, the first artist on Playboy Records, which many people don't know that that there was a Playboy record, but that was it, and that was the first artist. So maybe he's the last artist too. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Playboy Records! I remember that, and I think the one that stood out was uh, Hamilton, Joel, Frank, and Reynolds, and they were kind of the face of Playboy Records. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's 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 interesting what you find out. Uh, little Dave Wilkins told me about. Uh, he heard the first uh, crazy song, and that's when uh, Willie Nelson demoed it. And he said that was not very good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's Willie been smoking at that time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's had it with him for a while. So. <laughs> Oh, I imagine if Willie's singing it now and he's like, did I really just say that when I was high or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, it did him, it did him good anyway. Mm -hmm. And and you also went on to form a family tradition back in 06. And uh, just uh, tell us a bit about that before we get into all uh, your other music. That has to be a, a pretty good accomplishment. Right. Well, we uh, I formed the band back in 06. And this is after uh, I played with a buddy of mine. I played drums for him. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and and he they all left and they went to Nashville. So I said, well, I, I guess I got a job. I better stay here and <laughs> do something. So I formed the band Family Tradition. Uh, got to get my dad in it, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. My sister actually, which is a great singer too, she came. She joined the band. Uh, we had a gentleman. Now he's in his eighties. Now he he retired when he was seventy four. But uh, but he, he, he just just an amazing thing and. It, it, it was it was the bass player Richard Lenneman. He said, "I think you should call a family tradition." Well, you know, having my dad, and my sister in there, I thought that was great. You know, hmm. so so we played country music. We played dance music for all the dancers and singles dances, and we played the old style country. You know, Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And of course, you had Buck Owens, Patsy Cline back in the day. And of course, you know, I remember that. My dad played it. And of course, you know, that, that was like the best stuff out there. I got to say that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I think so, too. Mm hmm. Right. And you also proceed to um, release some of your other works as well, too. You got Turn to Me, You've Got to Have Faith, and also I Learned So Much from You, and also your new album. We'll be talking about that in just a minute. Tell us more about the previous releases you had album wise, like Turn to Me, You've Got to Have Faith, and uh, I Learned So Much from You. It's kind of funny. Turn to Me is your, your classic country, it's your traditional country. You know, if you listen to that, that's, there's not too much. Christian influence on that, not meaning it's not Christian, but it's just more of the old Merle Hager type stuff. You know, that's, that's when I was country, country. And now with the, with you gotta have faith and the you are my everything, my songwriter buddy, Anton Mack has a lot to do with that. And so he's had a lot of experiences. I always say we kind of throw it, throw it together and put it in like a solid shooter and see what comes out of it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, too, and you got some really good stuff. You also had uh, some singles on there, You're My Everything. Of course, got the title track, You Made a Man Out of Me, and um, maybe just a bit about uh, what inspired you to, um, to to write the lyrics and, uh, of course, you know, you know, Beside Your Faith and uh, maybe just some experiences and everything like that. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's you know, our lives kind of, kind of are the same. You know, we both love our wife. Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're everything for that, but we both understand without Christ in our lives, we're not going to go very far. Mm -hmm. So it, it was, it was that basic idea to where each song is really the same, but coming from a different point of view, kind of like the gospels, you mm -hmm. know, all the, all the disciples are saying the same thing, but you can tell it's from a different point of view. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I really, I really do think that's, Kind of, kind of the the key of it all is is no matter what you do, you have to have Christ in your life, mm -hmm. you know, because if you don't, it's it's just not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Mm -hmm. 
and and that's exactly the whole point as well too and of course um we'll also talk about your um your newest um album you're my everything featuring tell me maybe and more and uh we'll get to that in just one minute you listen to the mike wagner show at the mike wagner show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Z of Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. We'll be back with war winning Christian country artist from Watterson, South Dakota, Leland Haring III, after this time out. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is extraordinary relation of ordinary people based on a real life relationship. It's just it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to the Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with the amazing, multi-talented, and award-winning Christian country artist from Waterton, South Dakota, Leland Harding III here on the Mike Widener Show. We talked about um, Leland being the 2015 South Dakota Country Music Hall of Fame, following the footsteps of uh, his dad, and also mom being um, Nashville as well, too, for family tradition, play with a number of artists. We also talk about some of his releases and um, the latest uh, You Are My Everything, which is on Spotify right now, and... Um, you know, once again, just tell us a bit about that. You also got your um, your um one of your big tracks, uh, Tell Me Baby, as well. Right. Uh, you Are My Everything. That that being the title track, it, that says it all to the whole album. And that song really came out just beautiful. You know, there's, there's sometimes when you when you do songwriting, you know, you can bang your head and, and try to make it. You know, but I, I've heard... Uh, one person said it the best. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you got a kiss, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, it's just you really do. You can't go too far into it. You know, it, it's got to be your personal life, too. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's keep it simple. You know, you are my everything. As cliche as that is, that's what it, that's that's exactly what I wanted to say. Mm hmm. And of course, you all got some music as well, too. You got Jake's song, More Up Than Down, and um, Little Red Rose, and you, the title track, You're My Friend, and Permanent Vacation. I seem to get a kick out of that one. Maybe just uh, tell a bit about that, or maybe just some other songs you would like to highlight. Well, Permanent Vacation is a very, very funny type song. Uh, and, and that mainly comes from Anton, but he was, he's wanting to say it life's, uh, you know, you know what? And I said, we can't say that. We we can't we can't quite put it that way. Let let's let's put a better spin on it than that. Mm -hmm. You know. So you know, a permanent vacation. You know, make things better than than you got to turn things around every now and then. You know, you can't look at everything in such a it's such a half glass. You know, you, you your glass is half full or what whatnot. You got to be positive about things. Mm hmm. And you sounded positive as well, too. And of course, you know, lastly, being the 2015 South Dakota Country Music Hall of Fame, that had to be the icing on the cake for you, practically, or bigger and better things for you. That that was awesome. Uh, it, I, it still it still amazes me, you know, and I'm still waiting on the check. <laughs> which which of, which, of course, it, you know, just just being named to that is with your parents as well. You know, to go into the Hall of Fame with your parents. And then in 2018, when I got the Gospel CD of the Year Award, that I think that was the icing. 
you know, to, to see that, because I never wanted to be that, but, but, you know, got in a lot of people's hands and they said, this is really good. So, the, so they can't take that away, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, you're in a really opportunistic area in uh, South Dakota as well, too, and um, really making a name for yourself. And um, also, too, where can people uh, find all your music at, including You Are My Everything and more? Well, you know, all the all the digital sites, pretty much, you know, Spotify and SoundCloud and Apple Music and, you know, wherever you want to go, you can go to my website, you know, just look me up, com or uh, .net or whatever you want to. So Facebook, you know, all mm-hmm. those sites. Okay. We will certainly do so. And uh, we're with uh, singer, songwriter, or winning country. Christian country artist from South Dakota, Leland Harding the third here on the Mike Wagner show. In just a few more minutes here, we'd love to have you back in 2022 and beyond. You've been amazing. And uh, what can we expect me in 2022 and beyond uh, Leland? Well, we're coming out with a new album. I'm not sure what we're going to call it, but uh, hopefully it'll, you know, it just seems to get better. Every CD we do, it gets better. And I guess I can credit that, that to the Lord. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. And uh, put your faith in him and, um, you know, just lead the way on that for another album, too. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? My career? as of, Well, of course, it's got to be my mom and my dad. You know, i got to say that. Otherwise, mm-hmm. otherwise they, they, they might not be too happy with me. But no, that that is truthful. And as of right now, it would probably be Daily and Vincent and, and or Jimmy Fortune. Mm-hmm. Which a lot of people don't know, Jimmy Fortune, he was he was the highest singer in the Statler Brothers. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's rather interesting too, and uh, had some people with connections Statler Brothers. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Just keep going. Don't give up. I I've known too many people. I've known myself, but you can't get in that rut. You have to keep going. If this is your dream, follow it. Mm-hmm. And we certainly will do so. And you're living it right now, Leland. I got to say that you're totally amazing. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. No problem. So we're here with uh, award-winning Christian country artist from South Dakota, Leland Harding III, here on the Mike Wagner Show with You're My Everything. Leland, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back in 2022 and beyond. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people purchase or check out your music? Well, we, we can go to my website is LelandHarding.net. So that's just my name, plus .net. Um, and you go to Facebook, you go to Twitter, uh, you go to all the all the sites that you can name, you know, you'll find me there. And we certainly will do so. Once again, Leland, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back. We wish you all the best. You've got a great future ahead of you, and God bless you. Thank you, Mike. God bless. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your product. Project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. 
Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 